Tuesday, which means it's time for our top five Tuesday. That's a good one, too. And we have decided to focus in on the top five wins all time for BYU men's basketball against Gonzaga. Ever heard of them? Number five, 2014, a 73-65 win over the Bulldogs in the Marriott Center. I don't know if you knew this, but their nickname is the Bulldogs. Too. Yep. Uh, their mascot. After going into halftime tied, BYU took an early lead in the second half. Gonzaga turnover with over two minutes, just over two minutes left. Matt Carlino scored a layup. Our boy Tyler Hawes involved in this one. Carlino misses the three. KC puts it in. BYU built an eight-point lead, eventually giving the Cougars their first win over the Bulldogs in two years. At number four, rewind to 2016. A wild 69-68 win over then number 25 Gonzaga in the kennel. BYU started the game strong but trailed much of it. It wasn't until a three-point play by Chase Fisher with three minutes left that BYU took their first lead in the second half. It set up a wild, hectic, multiple lead changes type scenario to close out the game. Gonzaga missed free throws. Nate Austin. And then Nate Austin right yeah. with the game-clinching block. Yeah. Let's wait for it. We, we need to see Nate Austin do his thing because Frankly, he's a legend. He leads all time in number of fouls committed as a BYU player. <laughs> number one all time. <laughs> we gonna, did we include the We don't include defensive highlights here. Okay. <laughs> number three, BYU's 2015 73-70 win. This is the head shave game. BYU takes down number three, Gonzaga. It's the first of three consecutive wins in the kennel. Three pointers from Chase Fisher, tied at the half. BYU Woo! up 10 with 10 minutes to go. Up five with 17 seconds left. BYU beat a top three team first time since 81, snapped Gonzaga's 41 game home streak, uh, win streak. I was there, it was awesome. I shaved my head after that one. That was unbelievable. Kyle Wilcher almost makes that shot. You can see me run onto the court, documenting it with the team right there. Down goes number two, Gonzaga. And my hair. At number two, we have the 2020 special. Not with Barbara Walters. <laughs> yeah, Barbara Walters, rest in peace. 91 78. Over then second-ranked Gonzaga in a magical Marriott Center on oh, senior wow. night. BYU took a lead with 12 minutes left and led the rest of the way. 42 seconds remaining, it was Yoli Childs punctuating an unbelievable win on a pass from Connor Harding with his dunk. The 23rd-ranked Cougars win by 13 and in so doing, ended the Bulldogs' 40 straight regular season conference wins streak. And oh, by the way, number one had lost that day. They would have become number one. And the number one win over Gonzaga, 2017. Cougars took down number one and undefeated Gonzaga, 79-71 Spokane. They trailed 18-2 to start this game. You forget. 14-3 run later. Eric Mika, Corbin Kafusi, late layup. Oh, Mika Corbin Kafusi. 29 points, 11 rebounds, surpassed 1,000 points in that game. That was an NIT one-and-done BYU team that went into the kennel and beat... Previously undefeated and number one Gonzaga, who had newspapers already printed celebrating the undefeated regular season. Think about that roster. Elijah Bryant was on that team. Eric so Mika was on that team. Yoli Child was on that team. Corbin TJ Kipper, Haas was Nick on that Emory. team. That like, team was loaded. They they were loaded. Young, yeah, but young team. Unfortunately, this team did not stay together and do what we were hoping for years later. But this was the most notable win with that group. That win probably pushed Eric Mika into the NBA draft because his stock was, was never high. He was probably going without it, but <sighs> uh, it certainly helped it. Yeah. Great stuff. Oh, unforgettable. BYU, at that point, that was three straight wins in the kennel. Yeah. That was three straight in the kennel. There was a time where we thought BYU would never not win in the kennel again. It's like, oh, yeah, that's what BYU does. They go to Spokane and they It's win. been harder uh, since then. But, uh, <laughs> yeah.